How we doing? Um, okay. All right. Got work to do. I mean, first day in pads, and we got a, uh, you know, we saw some things that were good. Some things we got to continue to work through and uh, get up and watch the videotape and keep coaching. Looked like an eventful day for Corey Coleman. Made some plays. Some bad. Yeah, I, I didn't get to see it all myself, but I know he made a couple plays uh, one time out in the team period, made some catches. Uh, I'll see those other plays that you're referencing. But uh, I thought, you know, again, Corey's just got to continue to work at being consistent, making plays for us, and being in the right spots for the quarterback. And, uh, again, it's day three, so uh, we'll keep working at it. Today we talked to uh, Jimmy and D. Haslam, and they uh, gave you another nice vote of confidence. And Jimmy said, I think we'll see a different huge, or the real Hugh Jackson this year. <laughs> Do you feel like that? Do you feel like this is your opportunity to kind of make your mark and show what you're really about? Well, first of all, I, I want to thank uh, Dean and Jimmy for saying that. Um, again, as I said all last year, I, I felt like I had their full support. Uh, they were always in communication with me, and I thank them for that. Um, I'm glad they feel that way. You know, my, my job is to go out and coach this football team and get them better. And uh, i got to do it better than we've ever done it since I've been here. Um, we have some players that I think are going to help make the difference, but at the same time, it's just all talk. Right now, we have to go do it, so uh, we just got to keep working. But I, I do thank them for that. Is Greg Robinson in protocol? Or yes, he is. Yes, he is. So that's where he is uh, from a concussion standpoint, and we'll go from there. He, he took a. I didn't see it, you know, when he was out on the field. He just kind of took a shot when he was blocking, you know, on the side of the head. So we got to protect him that way, and we'll get him back. Is that why you moved Corbett today, or was the plan to play Corbett at left tackle today? The, pl the plan was to play him there some, but obviously he had to take more today with, with Robinson not being there. Antonio said he's obviously happy at left guard, and he'd prefer to stay there, mm -hmm. but if asked, he would obviously make the move. Oh, no question. How far down the line would that option be? Uh, I, I think, you know, once I really get a feel for where Greg is, you know, and, and again, Sean's doing a good job and, and get a feel for when Desmond Harrison's coming back, uh, then I think as a group, we got to make a decision, you know, how to just continue to move forward. But, um, you know, again, I know Joel will do anything for the football team, but hopefully we don't have to go to that. But if we do, we do, you know, but at the same time, I feel like we have some guys. We just got to get some guys healthy and get them out there. What you did, how many games do you think he would need to play there? Joel? Preseason. Uh, I mean, again, I, I don't, I mean, again, a guy needs to go play in a game, in a real game against number one starters, you know, so hopefully by that third preseason game, if we're going to do that, he would need to go out there and play and do it. So uh, we'll just get a feel for where we are, but that's that's where we are today. Did you get a look at Corbett when he was left tackle in those one-on-one -on -one line drills? Uh, I saw a little bit. You know, I, I was mainly focusing on the effort of what we were doing, not so much the player, but I'll see him here pretty soon because I'll watch every bit of tape we have, so I'll, I'll know more about it, uh, how he did uh, when I watched the tape. And you and we were talking to uh, Drew Stanton earlier. He said that he could see the authenticity in uh, Baker Mayfield, and that translates into the way he works in the huddle. So, have you seen quarterbacks who try to be that leader, but really just don't don't have that charisma? Oh yeah, I mean they all come in different shapes and sizes and leadership ability. But this guy's, uh, you know, he's got something to him. He's going to be fine. You know, again. He's just working each and every day, trying to get better. I see some things that he's doing a lot better. Uh, he's improving, but he's got a lot of work to do. He'll be the first to tell you that, but I think he feels good about the first three days of practice, and I, I do too. I think he's growing. How do you delegate your time jumping around from unit to unit as the CEO? Well, it's been it's fun that way a little bit. I mean, I've coached on defense before and coached almost every position on offense other than the line. So. Uh, I've, I feel comfortable being in a lot of different places and seeing things. I think for the coaches, they would say I've been more of a help, you know, because I can see some of the things that maybe they don't see. Uh, so, again, it's it's different, but it's also fun. Did Denzel Ward seem to be on the sideline for the last couple of team periods and something up with him? No, he's fine. I think he'll be fine. Well, it looked like Jarvis got banged up, too. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine, too. He just got <laughs> got stepped on. Yeah, Jamie okay. got a little work uh -huh. so it was good to see Jamie Collins out there. Yes, it was. And that's why I asked him. I said, hey, how many plays did you go? He goes, more than I was supposed to, but it was good. <laughs> you know, So it, that was good. And he's fired up about it. And that's good. You know, I think any time you get your good players back out there competing you know, in a situation where things are live and going, it's good. So I think um, he's, he's putting it behind him. And again, we'll just continue to slowly 
integrate him back in there. Hey, Hugh, I know Des Bryant is on the team's radar. Did you happen to see the, the Twitter rant he went on yesterday against the Cowboys? I, I don't twit, Twitter. Are you, are you twit. aware of it, though? Yeah. Huh? Are you aware of it? I, I mean, I haven't. Uh, no. No. To be honest with you, no, I'm not. No, but I did. I, people, because I hear people laughing about it or whatever that is, but I haven't seen it or. I was just wondering about if, it. if something like that would ever change your mind or, or maybe push you away from considering a guy. Um, no, I would have to understand the contents of what it was and where it came from and those type of things before I could make a comment. But uh, if it's something that I need to address, I will. You know, there's no question about that. I mean, we, that's not something we do. Um, our players understand that. So, you know, but he's not on our team. I don't know. Why. I'm sitting there talking about Des Bryant. Yeah, it is. Good. Do you have a uh, for the for the pads? Do you have? Is this going to be like every day? Or are you going to give them non padded? Oh, depends. No. Oh no, we won't have on pads every day. We'll have them on tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I mean, we we gotta we play in pads. You know, we gotta get used to carrying our pads, running our pads, blocking, tackling, and doing all those things. So, we'll have them on tomorrow for sure. Will there be any kind of scrimmage to replace the one that you usually do at the stadium? Yes, we'll have it here. Yeah, next Friday we'll have it here. Oh yeah, and we're not going to not do that. We have to we have to continue to get better that way. What's the format on that? It'd be like it is that like we had at First Energy. We just do it out here. If you want everything. Have out there, you have the new camera system. Isn't that beautiful? You got a replay board out there. That's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> it Big is. old TV, you can see everything. So you guys get better information now. There you go. How, how much do you use that, you know, during practice and just if you just touch on just how, how beneficial and how much easier something like that makes it? No, I think it's very beneficial because now when the play's happening, the people who are getting the mental reps who are not doing it can turn back and really see what's going on, understand the defense where the offense might have broke down at or why we executed pretty well. So I think it's a, a real good uh, thing to have, you know, for both offense and defense. The defensive players can see themselves as it's happening. So I, I think it's uh, benefited us pretty good. Is that similar to what you guys use on Sundays with the, the surface pads or whatever? Yes, yeah, somewhat. It's just that one's a lot bigger because I, <laughs> I thought you guys need to be able to see a little clearer. <laughs> so that's what that was. Are coaches allowed in that quarterback RV? Yeah, well, hey, anytime I want to go in, I'm going in. That's my parking lot, so I'm going in. Yeah.